What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up, talking about three RB1 candidates as we get into the 2022 fantasy season. We'll start off with Saquon Barkley here, the running back from the New York Giants. Our ADP uh, anywhere around, uh, I've seen it at uh, RB18, RB14, RB17, not going as RB1. And I know there's injury concerns there, but when we're talking about the top tier running backs, there's injury concerns with Christian McCaffrey, with Derrick Henry, and you're going to get a discount on a guy like Saquon Barkley uh, when you're looking at last year, even with the the ankle injury that got him out of the Dallas game there in week five. If you don't count that, you're still looking at 4.75 targets per game for this guy who was involved with Danny Dimes there at the helm. You're looking at them getting rid of Joe Judge and Jason Garrett, just incompetent pieces when it comes to running offenses. And they're bringing in a guy like Brian Dable from Buffalo, who I think will definitely look to get Saquon Barkley involved. We got Deontay Booker, who's no longer there. He's vacating 185 touches, and they bring in a guy like Matt Breida, who's not going to compete in the same realm as as Saquon Barkley, who should really have this offense and backfield to himself. He's a 25-year-old running back in a contract year. I really like Saquon Barkley to bounce back here in 2022. Next, we'll move on to another guy who I expect, I guess, not bounce back, but really isn't going where he should be going in drafts, and that's James Conner who currently, he's flirting with an RB1 uh, scenario when you're looking at best ball formats, but in some formats, he's going in RB2 range, you know, RB20 to 24. That's absolutely ludicrous when you look at this guy. Listen, if you don't expect the 18 touchdowns again, which is absolutely ludicrous uh, to repeat, I, I understand that. But when we're looking at this offense in general, there's no Chase Edmonds there. He leaves 120 carries behind. DeAndre Hopkins is going to be suspended for the first six games of the season and just the competition again at the backfield similar to Saquon Barkley he's only got an Eno Benjamin to compete with Keontae Ingram who is a day three running back draft pick this year sixth round this should be wheels up for James Conner who had six six games last year with two or more touchdowns in Arizona with their top rushing rate their top 10 in the league I think that you know he finished RB5 last year I think we could see a similar RB1 finish for James Conner definitely go out and get this workhorse back Lastly, we're going to talk about David Montgomery here, RB for the Chicago Bears, currently with an ADP flirting around uh, 18 and 19. And this is another guy who had, you know, two two seasons um, where he's been right around RB RB1 potential. And it's just the upside that you can get with the passing with the passing game. New offensive coordinator Luke Getze comes over for Green Bay. We know what he was able to do with Aaron Jones in that passing game around 65 targets the past two seasons when he was the passing game coordinator there. And when uh, when David Montgomery was out there playing with Justin Fields, he was getting targeted. You know, the last two games of the season, we saw 13 targets go David Montgomery's way. If we can get the rushing upside from David Montgomery, plus get him involved in the passing game with not that many weapons out. Everybody wants to talk about the Bears didn't get any offensive weapons for, for Justin Fields. Well, David Montgomery is there. So this offense, I think, will run through him and he should be a guy you're targeting in all formats. Guys, that's going to do it for this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. Appreciate you guys rocking along with us all season. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Until then, peace.